Contingency, devastation, and heartache are just a couple of things that come to mind when you think of a natural disaster. And the American Red Cross aids in disaster relief all across the country. But without one strong-willed and very perseverant woman, the American Red Cross would still be just a dream. Claire Barton, or Clarissa Harlow Barton, founded the American Red Cross in 1881. She's not someone you normally learn about in history class because, you know, who needs to know that kind of stuff. She first felt her calling for health care when she was taking care of her invalid brother at age 15. Also at age 15, she left home and wanted to decide to become a teacher and later opened a free public school in New Jersey. After completing her work, she moved to Washington, D.C. To, to work in the U.S. Patent Office in the mid-1850s. And after being let go of her position and America finding itself in the Civil War, she began to help out the Civil War soldiers in any way she could. She first collected and passed out supplies to the Union Army, and, served as it, and she also served as an independent nurse and first saw combat at Fredericksburg, Virginia, and continued care in Anaheim. In 1865, she worked with the War Department to help reunite soldiers with their family and help find missing soldiers. She traveled the world as a lecturer and she was when, when she was visiting Europe she worked with a relief organization known as the International Red Cross and when she returned home she founded the American Red Cross and served as its president in 1881. Today the American Red Cross helps with numerous disasters around the country and without Clara Barton this wonderful organization would not have been created to do so many great things. Thank you.